Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and have you been playing Life River lately, where you accidentally been throwing your pedal platform onto the floor when you meant to be healing your team or doing DPS? Maybe you find his controller setup weird, or maybe you just find Life Weaver to just be a weird character to play. Don't worry, because today we're gonna be talking about how you can play Life Weaver better by talking about a better controller setup, whether you're on PC or console, and we're also gonna give tips on how you can do better DPS and give better heals, on top of giving you tips for each of his abilities. So first, let's talk about what kind of settings you need for Life Weaver. So when you you first load up Life Weaver, this is going to be the default settings where you have the 1 and 2 or the scroll reel where you can switch between your healing ability and your DPS. And then your right mouse click is going to be your flower. And then you have your shift be your dash. And then you have your pull be your E. This is gross. This is icky. This is yucky. And it's even worse for console. We're going to change this so that you can have a much more comfortable time playing with Life Weaver. So first we're going to look at PC settings. And I do want to credit my emote artist Emmy who actually came up with this setup. But we're going to go down to options. Then we're going to go to change hero and then obviously life weaver now when it comes to like the mouse sensitivity and the reticle it's all kind of based on your preference the real magic is going to be in these three settings your interact your secondary fire and your next weapon the first thing that we're going to change is with your next weapon instead of it just being on the scroll reel we're actually going to change it to the right mouse click because it's just way more intuitive and just way more comfortable to just switch between the fire and the dps and the heal and you're also going to see the way that you can play life weaver just a little bit better later on in the video of how optimal it is to just have your right mouse button being the switch weapon but then that leaves your flower unbounded so what are you gonna do we're gonna go down to secondary fire which is your flower ability which i think is so stupid that's considered your secondary fire but nonetheless you're gonna change secondary fire to the f button and an easy way to remember this is f is for flower you send your flower with the f button and there you go but now you might see that your destroy the flower ability or destroy your flower button is no longer bounded depending on what kind of hardware you have you might have a mouse that have multiple buttons I don't I have side buttons that are for my melee and my push to talk so that means I have to use the scroll wheel button as my interact which I'm totally okay with because well I'm used to just being able to throw my flower with my F button using it and then just pressing the scroll wheel to destroy it this is such a better setup for life weaver on PC but what about for console? Now, Life Weaver on console is even worse, where you have to press right on the D-pad to switch between your flower and your DPS, and you have to press the, the left trigger, the left thumbstick. It is just awful. So here's a better way to set up the console settings for Life Weaver. You're gonna press the start button. You're gonna go down to options. You're gonna press right on the thumbstick to go to Life Weaver, and you're gonna go down to Life Weaver. Now, just like the PC settings, most of like the controller sensitivity, the reticle, and even the toggle to charge primary fire is all based on personal preference but it's really going to be the weapons and abilities that we're going to be changing. Now the first button we're going to be changing is the next weapon button because oftentimes you're going to be changing your thumbs position from the left thumbstick to the right of the d-pad because you're always going to be swapped between dps and the flower. Why not just swap it to a button that your finger is always on the left trigger i know that's very awkward because i don't think any hero is set up like that but the way that life we were set up by default is that this is your flower button and you don't need to have instant access to your flower so because you made the switch it is just way more comfortable and way easier and seamless to swap between the two abilities but that means you don't have your flower ability so you're gonna go back to options it should already be on life weaver and we're gonna go down to his secondary fire which is flower which is very dumb considering that it is a secondary fire and we're gonna change it to to the left thumbstick button but that means the interact button the way that you go through symmetric teleporters or that you destroy life weaver's flower is no longer bounded you're gonna switch this to the right of the d-pad now you're gonna have full control of your abilities you can throw your flower with your left thumbstick destroy it on a whim and because it's like an ability that you might not want to destroy right away i think swapping between the left thumbstick to the right of the d-pad destroy is not that unoptimized if that's even a word whereas being able to have an ability to switch between your weapons on a whim like with the left trigger I think is a much more comfortable way to play life weaver if you are playing on console but now that we got the settings down how do you actually play life weaver better well now we're gonna be looking at all of his abilities and giving you one tip for each ability first I actually want to look at his weapons because we just changed a bunch of settings where you can swap between the weapons but why would you want to have the ability to swap between them on a whim well other than the obvious being able to switch between your weapons a little bit easier 
just like Mercy's pistol, if you swap weapons after shooting it, after a certain amount of time, it'll just automatically reload. It's about three seconds or so from what I measured, but let's just give you an example. Let's just say you shoot all 60 of your thorns and you swap to your healing flower. All you really gotta do is either wait that three seconds or shoot three healing flowers and then swap back to your thorns and it'll automatically be reloaded. This also applies to your healing flower, where if you shoot all 12 of your flowers or six of them, it doesn't matter. Then all you gotta do is swap to your thorns, shoot about 30 or so, or just wait three seconds, and then once you swap back to your healing flower, then at that point, it'll be fully reloaded. That's why I had you change your settings to where you can swap between the flower and the thorns, because all you really gotta do is just wait a certain amount of time, and it'll be automatically reloaded. You don't really have to press the reload button for Life Weaver. Plus, another thing that I realized is that if you're holding down the primary fire, in the case of PC, left mouse click, or in the case of console, right trigger, if you swap between the healing or the thorns, it'll automatically either start charging the healing flower or start shooting your thorns. That's another big reason as to why how do you change your settings. But there's just so much more tips I can give you, especially when it comes to his abilities. Now, the first ability that I want to talk about is his pedal platform, or his flower ability. Now, I actually have two game-changing tips that I wanted to give you. The first that I've already talked about beforehand, where if you throw the flower onto the ground, you take it its full distance up, and if you jump at the end of that travel distance, you actually get a slight boost in your jump than if you just didn't jump with it. But another tip when it comes to his pedal platform is that this could also block corridors on specific maps that have staircases. If you throw your pedal platform in the right spot of the stairs, it could actually just block the enemy team from advancing forward until they actually destroy your platform. And the pedal platform can not only block staircases, but it can also block doorways and it can also block incoming fire even though it's it's, it's very 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 thin. I guess the next ability that we can talk about is his life grip ability. Now even though it's not a road to hog hook and there's not really anything where you can manipulate where you can pull your teammates, like if you look to the side, it doesn't work like that. It just always pulls your allies where you were originally standing. But what I will say is that you are able to pull a certain amount of heroes while they are ulting, specifically someone like Cole Cassidy and Reaper and heroes like that. So if you're wanting to put them in a much more advantageous spot, say on top of your flower for Cole Cassidy, or if you just want the Beyblade to change positions very quickly while still doing damage, then you can be able to do that as well. And I guess his last ability, which is his dash ability, might seem like a simple ability on the surface, which it is, <laughs> but there is a slight tip if I can give you any where you are able to not only dash forward but also dash left to right, backwards and side to side. Wherever you're giving an input, that's where you're able to dash to. It's very similar to like Tracer's Blink where you don't have to just dash forward, you can dash in any sort of direction. But remember how I talked about how you can block pathways with your pedal platform? You can obviously do that with your ultimate. We all kind of guess that you could do that because it is so big and ginormous. Pause. This could be a great backup shield if you need to protect yourself from incoming fire or from an ultimate or something, but don't obviously rely on this tree as your form of protection because it's a healing beacon, not a shield. But did you also know that you can throw your tree on top of your pedal platform and as long as your teammates have line of sight and stay within the tree's radius, they still will get healed by the tree. And those are all the tips I can give you when it comes to Life Weaver. And now it's just up to you to decide if you want to put in the time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears because there's gonna be a lot of it to try to learn Life Weaver. But I do hope this video did help you in some sort of way, and maybe I can make more in the future, especially when new heroes get released. But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more. Watch two videos to come, and bye.